sorry. I'm so, I didn't mean. I didn't want to do that. My God. I know. Mike, Mike, Mike. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, so we came to Las Vegas with a lot of cash and no security, so if you ever wanted to rob me, now would be the time. But, unfortunately, by the time you're watching this video, there's a good chance we probably spend it at the casino! Yeah! yeah! Just kidding, we're actually here to, uh, and I'm kind of like embarrassed to say this, <laughs> buy a, uh, yeah, you guessed it, a Pokemon card. Or attempt to buy anyway. Okay, so Pawn Stars, the show, we all know it, we all love it. About three years ago, a guy named Gary went on the show, he had like a beautiful Charizard collection. He wanted half a million dollars for it, the guy said no. Today, that collection is worth five million dollars. He is one of the biggest Pokemon collectors in the world and he lives here in Las Vegas. He has a card I really want. Actually, he has two of them. They're the only two in the world. It is a BGS 10 pristine golden first edition Charizard. Now, I've actually tried to buy a 10 Charizard from him before and he actually told me he'd never sell it. And I'm not good at taking no for an answer, so I've come here to Las Vegas today to give Gary an offer that he can't refuse. Baby, you got I know what you're thinking, this is stupid, right? You're paying a quarter million dollars for a piece of cardboard and you're right. Pokemon is blowing up. I have no doubt in my mind this card will be worth a million dollars between two and three years from now. They're called appreciating assets. I'm done buying Lamborghinis. I'm done buying stuff that won't make me money. Baby, you got Why did you just look out to the distance? Like <laughs> so Gary's been kind enough to invite us to his house, show his collection off a little bit, and then, yeah, I'm going to try to make him an offer that he can't refuse. 1999 when it started, my son going to bed, peeking in, staring at that Charizard, the first one that we ever pulled, mm. and then falling asleep the next morning, still having it in his hand. So, wow. even though he's dead asleep, and that, that was damn, bro. He opened up a first edition uh, base set uh, booster box. He opened three first edition Charizards in it. In, in one, one box? In one first edition box, all, all three, three came back a gem at 10. No! That's impossible! <laughs> That's you want to see a couple of those? Please. Really? Please. Okay. Look how many he has! Bro! <laughs> all shadowless. Wait, Gary, tens. Gary, they're yeah. all shadowless heads. I'm holding. Gary, I'm holding a million dollars in my hand. I know. Because when you went on Pawn Stars, yes. you were asking for half a million dollars. Yes. Were you really planning on selling those cards? Not really. You just did it for clout. What are those cards worth today? That's probably about 10 million. Why do you, why, how come you're so connected to these cards? It's kind of a, I guess, an identity thing. You know, just, uh, it's just how I feel. <laughs> this is beautiful, man. The big, the big one. Uh oh. Oh boy. Oh yes. no. This one here is the Beckett's 10, pristine 10. And I have two, there's two in the world, and I have them both. And there it was. I was holding one of the rarest Pokemon cards in the world. This was my mission objective. But right as I was about to present my offer, things took a turn for the worst. I get 20 messages a day from all the big guys. Justin Bieber contacted me, wanted them. Gary V. They, they, they all want my cards. And. I just don't have the heart to give them up. I also had a guy offer a guy offer in Montana to trade for a house. Trade a house for this card? Yeah, four hundred thousand dollar. Take my daughter. Take my money. Don't touch my cards. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I holding it? <laughs> Holy sh! <laughs> the more he spoke, the more I realized there was literally no way he was going to sell me his prized possession. My stupid money meant nothing to Gary. I was losing all hope, and I knew I had to pivot. Oh. Devin. Oh, man. Do 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 you mind if I have a word with you? Of course. In, in, in private, is that cool? Uh, not to not course, to. No, no. Is that is it all right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cool, bro. T take it. Take me where you yeah. want to go. Yeah. Bro, first off, I love your family. Bro, like honestly, like not even being biased. Like my dad's like one of those guys. Like, bro, he's so genuine. Yeah. And he's hip. I've seen you like do a bunch of things. Oh, I, I like to I like I like to diversify, which is actually why I got into this, which is why I wanted to ask you candidly, bro. I had a whole like plan. I was gonna give your dad an offer, but he I don't want to like be disrespectful because his arms just so good to his, his collection. Are you thinking about like buying a BGS? Yeah, well, that's bro, that's bro, what I was gonna. You could offer him a number, and he wouldn't he wouldn't even do it. Wouldn't do a BGS, but like, do you think he'd move on a PSA? Quick context, a PSA 10 is next in line. If the BGS 10 is Eminem, the PSA 10 is Drake. They're valued between about $150,000 and $200,000 and there's only around 100 in existence on the planet. Also known as the holy grail of Pokemon cards. I just want one pen Charizard. Should I try? Should I just like can I maybe be like this? Bro, I'm no pressure. He says no, he says no, I leave. 
I mean, yeah, I mean, it has to be. Candidly, Gary, I, I'm not so good at taking no for an answer. Mm -hmm. And I thought, surely, I could walk up in your house that you so nicely invited us in mm -hmm. and give you an offer for your BGS 10 charge. Right. After talking with you, mm -hmm. I'm not even going to attempt to do that. I the hate to disappoint anybody. You, I, I'm never disappointed. Nothing's right. personal. I get it. And I'm, I'm envious of your passion for the hobby. Right. I hope to have a sliver of that. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to believe maybe I do. Right. But, you know, the first thing you handed me was seven, eight, PSA 10 Charizards. I don't know if you're willing to sell those, but I am prepared to give you an offer that you can't refuse. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Gary. You can say no. Then I probably will. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> nothing personal. Nothing, nothing personal. No, and that wouldn't and, be personal. And, and totally, totally. Yeah. In my collection, in my Pokemon hunting, the PSA 10 Charizard is, is the last thing that I'm looking for. So, at this very moment in time, right now, I am prepared to give you $150,000 cash for just one of your seven PSA 10 First Edition Charizards. Man. I have it right I, here. I gotta tell you that that's the most I've been offered. I've been offered 130,000 three times and said no, obviously. You know, all three times. The difference is, I'm sitting in front of you yeah. with the cash, and you and I, right now, have a chance to make history in the Pokemon world. Gary, you once told me that you do what your heart feels. Right now, what is your heart feeling? You know, what I'm considering is, it's possible that I could care at this moment a little bit more about your feelings than my own, right? It's possible that I, that I could uh, put myself into your place. You know, what, what are you feeling, you know? And it means a lot to me, you know, not to do it, but it might, I just might do it. But I want you to know it's not because of the money. I love that. I love that, Gary. Is that a yes? Yes. Oh, oh, let's go! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Gary, this is the this is the last thing in my collection. I can't I can't believe you did that, bro. Oh, Oh my god! Oh my god! Listen, you know how I feel right now? I feel stronger about him than I do myself at this moment. You're amazing! <laughs> and can I tell you something? Of course. I don't feel bad about it. I hope at not. At all, for some reason, I don't feel bad about it. I'm never ever selling that time. card, and there's no person I'd rather buy it from. You. Which one are you taking? I don't know. I, I I'm trying to. This is so cool. I can't. I can't, I can't believe. It. I'm such a geek, bro. I'm, just, I'm geeking. I got it. I got it. I got nice. the one. I got the one. I feel strongly. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's real orange. He's really orange. Pawn Stars Gary made my nostalgic childhood dreams come true. We hugged it out, played some Barbie Dream House, arm wrestled his wife. She was very strong. Took a few pics and said our goodbyes. I was a happy dork with my very own PSA 10 Gem Mint First Edition Thick Stamp Charizard. The last and final piece of my cardboard collection. Fuck yeah, man! I didn't know you brought a trench coat, <laughs> by the way. By the way, I had no Pokemon idea. Pokemon community, I said, I said that was hella awesome. Bro, please bro. like and please subscribe. Add Sizzle 3000 on Discord, by the way. Really appreciate y'all. Please leave a comment in the description below. Peace. Remember, kill squad. Stand up. Salute. Let's go.